Hi folks, uh, this lesson is on fractions and properties of addition. So this is lesson uh, uh, 7.9 in the textbook I'm following. The common core is we're still going to use our prior knowledge and operations on whole numbers to build fractions from unit fractions. So our essential question here is how can we add fractions that have like denominators using the properties of addition, okay? Let's, uh, let's access some of our prior knowledge and use some mental math to find each sum right here, okay? So what's two-thirds plus one-third? Okay, well, they have a common denominator of three, so we just add the numerators. Two plus one is three, so it equals three-thirds, and three-thirds is equal to one right there, okay? Similarly, you guys, three-sevenths plus four-sevenths, I just add three plus four, I'm going to get seven-sevenths, and that equals one also, okay? And then there I'll get twelve-twelfths, which also equals one. So what do these expressions have in common? They all add up to one, so in simplest form, each uh, sum is equal to one. Okay, which just means addition. All right, properties of addition, you guys. I'm going to show you two of them today. One of them is called the commutative property. The commutative property uh, is like when I commute to work, you guys. It says that when you change the order of numbers, the sum stays the same. So what I'm thinking of is this. 5 plus 3, which is 8, is the same as 3 plus 5. That's also 8. So what I did is I just flipped uh, these guys around, and you'll see the handiness of this in just a second. So I think of this as, you know, when I commute to work, I'm driving to work, you guys. Well, this 5 and 3 are commuting around the addition sign. So the 5 goes over here, and the 3 goes over here. That's why it's called the commutative property, like driving to work. The associative property of addition says that when you regroup numbers, the sum is still the same. Now look at this, 5 plus 3... Plus 7 is going to be equal to 5 plus group these two guys together, 3 plus 7, okay? And I can see this, 3 plus 7 is 10, and 10 is easy to add to, you guys. 5 plus 10 is equal to 15. Over here I'd get 8, you know, 5 plus 3 is 8, 8 plus 7, that equals 15, but it's easier to see 15 right here if I just regroup these two guys. 3 plus 7 is 10, well, 10 plus 5. Okay, so instead of associating these two numbers, I associated the second two numbers instead because they paired up nicely. And so we're going to use uh, both of those things, uh, um, you know, like anything over itself. 3, 3 over 3 equals 1, 7 over 7 equals 1, 12 over 12 equals 1. And we're going to be uh, moving numbers around with the commutative property uh, and the associative property to uh, make things more convenient to add. So, below is a map of Shelter Cove, which is one of my favorite places in the world, you guys. It's up in the north coast of California. Uh, it is a map of Shelter Cove and the lighthouse is out in the ocean. So the distances are in miles. Okay, so what's the total distance between all four of these lighthouses? Okay, so here's a lighthouse right here. Between these two lighthouses is 70 and 5 tenths of a mile. Okay, between these two lighthouses is 43 and 6 tenths, and this one is 34 and 5 tenths. So it's asking, what's the total distance? So we're going to add uh, all three of these mixed numbers together, and so we're going to use the properties of addition uh, on these orders right here, and we're going to regroup the numbers together. So let me move that up here. All right, so what I'm going to do is uh, use the commutative property to reorder so that the fractions that have a sum of 1 are together. Okay, so check this out. Look at this fraction. This is 5 tenths. This fraction is 6 tenths. This fraction is 5 tenths. Can you see 5 tenths and 5 tenths equals 10 tenths or 1, you guys? So I'm going to move uh, these two guys around. I'm going to put the 43 and 6 tenths over here and put the 34 and uh, 5 tenths over here. That's all this says. I just moved the 43 and the 34 around with their fractions, okay? And they just commuted around that addition sign right there. So it's the commutative property of addition. All right, and then what I'm going to do is use the associative property. So I'm going to associate two pairs of numbers together. I'm going to associate these two guys together because these guys will go nicely together because 5 tenths plus 5 tenths is 1. Okay, so I'm going to associate these guys together right here. All right, and then let's go ahead and add these together. So 5 tenths plus 5 tenths is going to be 10 tenths, which is 1. And then I'm going to add 1 to 70 and 34. Okay, so it's going to get me uh, 70 plus 34 plus 10 tenths. This is 1 right here, so 70 plus 34 plus 1 is 105. All right, and then I'm going to add at the end, the very end, the 43 and 6 tenths. Okay, so what I did is I, I went up here, I, I looked at that. These guys have fractions that add to 1. So if I just put these guys together first, 
That gets me 1 plus that number plus that number right there. So I get 105 plus 43 and 6 tenths. So now I can add 105 plus 43. It's going to get me 148. 148 and 6 tenths. All right. So let's go ahead and answer the question, you guys. So the total distance between all lighthouses is how many miles? 146 and 6 tenths of a mile. All right, now if you want to, you can reduce 6 tenths to 3 fifths if you want to. We'll do more of that later, I, I, I'm, I'm assuming, when we get more into the textbook. All right, so let's try that uh, those tricks with this one. So uh, use the properties and mental math to solve and show each step and name the property. So we're going to do the commutative property first, then we're going to do the associative property, and then simplify and see what we get, okay? Alright, so do you see what I did right here, you guys? I just moved the 3 and the 2 and 2 thirds. So I put the 2 and 2 thirds and the 3. All they did was move around that addition sign. They commuted around the addition sign, so the commutative property of addition. Alright, so now I'm going to move the parentheses, you guys. Instead of associating these two guys, I'm going to associate these two guys right here. So that's why it's called the associative property. Alright, now I can do some mental math. 1 third plus 2 thirds is 3 thirds. So 3 thirds equals 1, okay, oops, uh, 3 thirds equals 1, and then 4 plus 2 equals 6, okay, the 1 came from the 1 third and 2 thirds, which is 3 thirds, so there's 1 plus 6, which is now 7, 7 plus 3 is going to get me 10 right there, okay, pretty slick, isn't it, you guys, so, so nice tricks, you guys, so we're going to go ahead and uh, uh, do this last problem here, complete and name the property uh, used, okay, so here we started with 3 and 4 tenths, plus 5 and 2 tenths, plus 6 and, I'm, I'm sorry, plus 6 tenths right here. So what I'm, uh, what I'm going to do right here is I'm going to go uh, 5 and 2 tenths plus 3 and 4 tenths, okay? So that's these two guys right here. They just moved around. The 5 and 2 tenths went over here, and the 3 and 4 tenths went over there. Do you see that right there? Right here is that leftover 6 tenths, so let's do that. Okay, and what they did is we used the commutative property of addition. I just moved these around the addition sign right there. All right, now what I'm going to do is um, I am going to reassociate, because check this out, 4 tenths and 6 tenths will get me 10 tenths, and I'd rather pair those guys up. So I'll put the 6 tenths with the 3 and, and 4 tenths, okay? So instead of associating these two numbers together, I'm going to associate these two numbers together. So this is the associative property of addition. Okay, and then, uh, so then we're going to go, and you guys, you're going to see these, so I teach high school math, I was teaching these properties over again in my Algebra 1 class and my Geometry class, and you'll see it again in Algebra 2 and Calculus, all that stuff, so get the hang of these, you guys, early so it's easier for you later on, okay? So the commutative property is where it commutes around the addition sign, and um, uh, the associative property is when I associate different groups of numbers together. So here, clearly the associative property, because I'm associating these two guys together, and 4 tenths plus 6 tenths is going to get me 10 tenths right there. Okay, so I'm going to put in uh, 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 10 tenths is 1, so 1 plus 3 gets me that 4. Can you see this stuff equals 4 right there? Okay, it's 3 plus 1, because this is 10 tenths. 3 plus 1 is 4. Then I can go ahead and add 4 with the 5, and I'm going to get uh, uh, I'm going to get 9 and 2 tenths. Okay, you can reduce that to 9 and 1 fifth if you'd like, but, but 9 and 2 tenths is okay right now. All right, what else do I have? So describe how you can use the properties to find this sum, 1 and 1 third plus 2 and 5 eighths. Whoops, a different denominator, but that's okay because I got 1 and 2 thirds right here. All right, well, can you see this 2 thirds and this 1 third equals 1? So what I'm going to do is use the commutative property and probably a little bit of associative property here, and I'm going to commute this 1 and 2 thirds over here next to the 1 and 1 thirds. So I'm going to put the 1 and 2 thirds right here and the 2 and 5 eighths right here. Okay, and then so now I can add the 1 and 2 thirds plus the 1 and 1 third. Okay, and it's going to get me and then add the 2 and 5 eighths later. All right, so what I did is I, um, I put the 1 and 2 thirds over here, and then now I can add these two guys right here. 1 third plus 2 thirds is 3 thirds, which is 1. So I have 1 plus 1 is 2, plus the next one right here with the 3 thirds right here. Okay, so uh, 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 3, and then I can add the 2 and 5 eighths in afterwards. So 3 plus 2 and 5 eighths is 5 and 5 eighths.